Wait. Oh, <laughs> I screwed myself. <laughs> Okay. Apollo, if Delta Squad was not able to safely perform their assessment, how will we collect our data on the base genetic material? Unlike the rest of Delta Squad, you have my assistance. I will bring the entirety of my electronic countermeasure suite to bear against the torpedoes. I am certain I will be able to disable their proximity detonators. And if there are additional defensive systems? A possibility I have already considered. We'll be ready. Furthermore, I shall reconfigure your threat scanner for inspecting the torpedo incubators. Stand by. This is crazy. Reconfiguration complete. Your threat scanner should now be able to generate a detailed mapping of the biomass's base genetic material. Though the range of the instrument has been somewhat diminished. I suppose that's a trade-off we'll have to accept. Indeed. The anomaly is becoming more active. We need to hurry. Dr. Harlan and the captain may be close to having expended the fuel cell. Alright. So we search for... the not detonated one. That's gonna be hard. Huh? Is this one not detonated? Like, if it flies, then I think it works, right? Because then in the ground, it's just spreading biomass. I think that might be the case here, but how do I get there? Mm, okay, I see the way. Shields at 95%. Shields at 95%. It's like hide and seek. <laughs> Shields at ninety five percent. It's like being vampires as well. <laughs> I think we have to go here. Apollo, I've located a torpedo. Is this close enough to scan? Unfortunately, no. We need to reach the forward end of the torpedo where the base genetic material is housed. You are certain that we're masked from the detection? Yes, my countermeasures are holding. It should be safe to approach. Safe is a relative term. Technically, I'm spreading biomass through space. Is this it? I've connected conduits from the Kronos activation bay to a mobile reactor. I believe that the conduits will be conduits to act as a warning beacon. With sufficient power, it may be able to overcome the interference. Acknowledged. I am still proceeding with the threat assessment. Copy that. Delta-6 out. Apollo, is it possible Delta-6 could sufficiently power the beacon to warn Ithaca? Unlikely. All evidence for both the present and future indicates they will not. I see no reason to dissuade her now. We should focus on our mission. Agreed. <laughs> that tone, though. Is this range sufficient for a scan? It should suffice. However, the torpedo shielding is denser than anticipated. For a successful scan, it appears we'll need to expose the base genetic material. I believe that by interfacing with the torpedo, I should be able to reveal the incubator at the forward end. Do you need me to do anything? Possibly. I cannot be certain until I have actually accessed the torpedo's systems. 
I advise maintaining full tactical readiness. I am uncertain what tactical readiness implies. Apologies. Simply be ready for anything. <laughs> Understood. I will begin once you designate the incubator for scanning. I need to be in the front? Is it gonna shoot at me? This incubator appears viable. Are you ready to begin? Well, yeah, but you say I have to be ready for anything, so... Yes. Interfacing now. This is more complex than I had. Apollo? The torpedo's defense protocols have activated. It has locked the incubator and is attempting to power its main drive. It's beginning launch procedures. I will stall for as long as possible. Then we need an alternative. Agreed. I'm opening access hatches on the front end. The manual overrides within them should trigger a maintenance mode. Override activated. Perfect. Take care of the one on the opposite side as well. Second override activated. Well done, though the launch procedure is still online. Perhaps we can overheat the main drive. Enabling maintenance mode gave us access to the torpedo's cooling cells. Remove them. The cells are locked behind a protective housing. Lower it. What? We need to remove all the cells to trigger an open. Jack, the launch procedure is nearing completion. Ah! Additional cells removed. The drive is beginning to overheat, but the launch sequence is still active. No! <laughs> Fortunately, I believe there are additional torpedoes in it. What we learned here will make us more prepared for a second attempt. Their team, I now have the beacon powered. Unfortunately, the range is being severely limited by radiation and interference from the anomalies. I will attempt to boost the signal, though success appears unlikely. Copy that, Delta-6. 13 out. There's one flying here. I hope we have time, though. Do you troll, Apollo? Incubator reached. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> Again. Yes. I believe I may be able to stall the launch procedure for a greater duration, but expediency will remain critical. Understood. Initiating interface program. Jack, the anomaly is pulsing regularly now. It must be close to collapsing. Maintenance mode activated. Indeed. The cooling cells are now exposed. Remove them to trigger an overheat. The cells can't be removed without lowering their housing first. Cells removed. Perfect. You will need to remove the second array on the opposite side as well. Cells clear. The overheat process has initiated. The drive housing is open. Destroy the main drive. Main drive destroyed. Launch sequence of burn. That finally did it. Oh. I am able to unlock the incubator now. We should do so quickly. It appears we may not have much time. Incubator exposed. Excellent. We should begin the scan immediately. Scanning. Apollo? Imprinting now. It should not be much longer. Come on! <laughs> Just a moment longer. He's not gonna finish it. Data secured. <gasps> well done, Jack. So what now? I suppose now we should simply wait for the anomaly's collapse. I believe so, yes. Oh no. I think we'll be trapped here. <laughs> it does appear to be fairly unstable at this point. I estimate no more than a few minutes remain. Very well. Perhaps there is a way we could signal the doctor and Captain Rhodes that we are ready to return. 
Were that viable, I would have expected them, or you, to have already suggested a means for doing so. Certainly. However, I was attempting to prompt one of your creative solutions. <laughs> what? I see. The anomaly is going to close any moment now. Preparing for return displacement. Jump imminent. Uh... Jack, are you here as well? Uh-oh... Why are we still here? I am... uncertain. Our plan was developed under the requirement that the anomaly's collapse would return us to 2537. Had this outcome appeared likely, I would have developed a contingency. Do we have an alternative means of returning? Given the limited resources available to us here, no, not that I am aware of. Nice. Thirteen. Now that the anomaly has subsided, I have run an additional test of the beacon. Radiological interference is still too significant. Nonetheless, the beacon is prepared to transmit continuously once the radiation subsides. As such, I am now shifting my priority back to the primary objective. What is the status of your assessment? Assessment complete. Well done. Unfortunately, our lack of extended range communication leaves us unable to deliver your work to Titan Command. Therefore, we must enact the Message in Immortal Protocol. Report back to me in the activation bay so that we may discuss the details. Jack. Assisting Delta-6 may be our best solution at this point. Both of Delta Squad's objectives are still viable. Though unlikely, the radiation may subside in time for the beacon to warn the Ithaca. And if it doesn't? Then we follow protocol. The message in a bottle protocol. Yes, it is a standardized Atlas procedure. In short, Delta-6 intends to store our assessment in a secure device until it can be recovered. That information would disrupt the events of this timeline. That is the intention, to prepare humanity to defeat the biomass sooner. But then what happens to live? We have no way of knowing. Our own limited experiences are the only concrete information we have regarding time travel. Simply put, there are too many confounding factors to even make an assessment. I see. It is, however, possible that once events here stabilize, we will be able to obtain help in returning to the future. Therefore, I advise we wait until the Ithaca or other Atlas personnel arrive. We can then reevaluate. Very well, then, we wait. I will inform Delta Six. Lovely. How fun. We are trapped. Delta Six has routed all power to the activation bay for the beacon. <laughs> it would appear the activation bay, though now somewhat separated from the bridge, survived as well. Thirteen, you've returned. Let me know when you are ready to commence. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's begin. Very well. Your new shell is right over there. Awaiting your transfer. My new shell. Correct. Protocol dictates we should place the assessment data in the most secure storage solution available. Tier 6 or higher. That Series 11 shell should do nicely. That should make waiting for the Ithaca far simpler. Whoa. Understood, 6. I will transfer when ready. Acknowledged. You may open the activation pod via the console over there. I will attempt further optimization of the beacon in the meantime. That would be like our fourth shell. I wonder what functions we'll have here. I'll prepare the transfer. Initiate through your arm computer when you're ready. Shields at 95%. Do I look good? Transfer appears complete. Please confirm, 13. I am online. Acknowledged. 
You are now integrated into the activation bay's power grid, which I have connected to a mobile reactor. It should provide ample power for both you and the beacon, especially once you've engaged your hibernation protocol. I will do my best to keep you and the power supply safe. Acknowledged. Delta-6, will you let me know if the anomaly reappears? Kilia. Very prudent. <coughs> Very well. Initiate hibernation when ready. I've set the protocol for timed disengagement so that we may awaken for the Ithaca's approximate arrival. Excellent. It is unlikely anyone else will arrive in the meantime. Indeed. Ready when you are, Jack. Good luck, Delta-13. The sad part is, this is our old show <laughs> from the first game. <laughs>